world, products are being manufactured day and night. It's exciting and mind-boggling to consider against the variety and quantity of goods available to us. Every product you see sitting on a shelf has gone through a similar process as you see here. Manufacturing involves multiple phases and weaves together many variables that each require unique considerations relative to the product being produced. First step is design, and more importantly, turning designs into manufacturable CAD files. Those CAD files are used to create a mold that is milled out of a large, heavy block of steel or aluminum. Every plastic product you have ever used came out of a mold just like this. This is the Zuby Flyer mold. These are where the first T1 and T2 samples are made. Prototyping costs time and money, but it is an important part of the process. Incremental tool tunes are made using an EDM machine. These machines allow for very precise cuts in the mold using an electrical discharge that burns away the metal. The mold is then brought to the injection floor where it is placed into the injection machine. Parameters like injection pressure, temperature profiles, and flow rates are configured based on the part and material being shot. Parts are then run in the mold to test for flaws and optimize for mass production. production team will all spend time on the floor as parts come off the mold. Everyone has an opportunity to provide input that influences the injection parameters and ultimately confirm whether the units are ready or not to set up for mass production.